Uh, the first one is the easy one. It's the example on page four. The second one on the, on, the, on page four. Right. It's a simple example, which is, well, it's a simple example. So the example goes like this. We have a parallelogram, A, B, C, D, and we're given that, we're given that the two sides of this parallelogram, uh, they are vectors. And we give a special, we're given a special names for these two vectors. So A, D, A, D is named vector B, and the vector A, B is just vector A. Our job is to find the, half diagonal vectors, so the, di the vectors which goes along five half diagonals, I just picture two of them for you from the, so this is the point where diagonals intersect, M. So our job is to express in terms of A and B, vectors which originates from M and goes towards the C and towards D point. It's a simple example, but it's based on one fundamental property of parallelogram, property which exists regardless of any vectors. Who knows this property? You know it from the, from the elementary properties of parallelogram that the diagonals of parallelogram, they intersect, and the intersection point bisect. So if I said it longer, it's nice, nice. The next time I say it shorter, yeah, they bisect, yes. And the point of intersection is the midpoint for every diagonal. That's the main property which must be cited when you do this example. The rest is very simple, because now what you do is this. You just say, we take the vector AC, it's the vector which originates from the point, point A and goes up to the point C. By the way we add vectors, this is simply A plus B. And because we just, just discovered with you that the M point is the middle point of the segment AC, all, all we have to do to, to recover the MC vector, we have to shrink my diagonal vector AC by two and shrinking in algebraic terms, this is just a scalar multiplication of vectors. So all we have to do, we have to multiply my vector. All we have to do to recover the vector MC, or identically the vector AM, remember the vectors which are matched by parallel transition, they are identical vectors. We have to shrink twice, which in the algebraic terms multiply by one half, the given diagonal. Right. Now, when you go after MD vector, after the vector which goes from the point M up to the D, you have to look at the other diagonal of the parallelogram. And to look at the other diagonal, what, you have to, what, what do you think we have to do with vectors A and B? It's the subtraction property which you just mentioned on the slide above this one. Vector BD, the complete diagonal vector, it's the vector of a difference of B and A. And again, basing on these diagonals, of, pro of, of properties of diagonals, of any parallelogram, all we have to do, we have to halve this vector to shrink it exactly twice. So if I halve it, BM and MD, two identical vectors, because they match, match each other by parallel transition, it will be half of this difference. And that's all there is to this example. <clears throat> 